<laughs> Getting the rails to get it level. Uh, pretty cool. Ian's doing the hard work. I've just got it in here. Just bolt it in. So that's all in inches mm. for, our, for our depth. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we get it lined up. So at the moment it's, it's, it's set to three inch now at the moment. From there to, to there, it's set to three inch. And you have to on both of them. Mm -hmm. And you would just adjust it by undoing these. Yep. Undo them, slide it down or lift, lift it up, mm -hmm. tie it up. So our first cut. So we've got. So we have to account for the boards as well. Yeah, so we've got three. So we probably want to do our first cut at three and a half inches. Mm. Then that'll. Although. No, we could take six inches off, but mm. you know, you're losing a lot of board. And actually, the top one's never really a very good mm. board anyway. Yeah, if you can set that to four inch then. Might have to be five inch, Tom. Okay. Or we're only just skimming it and then I think I might hit a screw. <coughs> Set the depth to five inches because we're doing the first skim and we're working to the smaller side. So obviously it'll be less here and a bit more on this side. Now we won't need all this because we've set a flat level. Set the that's the one. It's pretty cool. Do you want to invert it? You want to flip it so the next one goes on. Yes, top. yeah, yeah. Just inside that bucket. Ooh, got some weight. Even with a thin slab. Well, that's quite nice. Work smart, not hard. What have we got? We've got 16 inch. We've got four. Mm. 15, maybe. We might get five. I'm excited to do this one, get this plank out. Yeah. Look, look nice. Yeah, yeah. It's the first proper one. We're getting, yeah, getting somewhere.
Yeah, I can give you that. You're good at sharpening. Push again. Oh, that's a really nice one, that. You've got the bug, haven't you? There we go. Get it? Yep. Curved edge, it's kind of cool keeping the hinge in and you see it. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I would have done, you know, the upside down well, bolt or whatever you call it. Like you say, though, it all, it all adds to the character and the story of, of the tree still as well. You know, you know, you can see where they felled it, you can see the garb, you can see the hinge, you can see the back cut. This, the story's there still. Oh, that's a good. That is nice, isn't it? <laughs> my fingers. I need a chuck. <laughs> I'm gonna move my fingers. Yours out. That's nice. Yeah. It's that's just it. a bit of decay. You know that's. I see the the, the epoxy guys. They yeah, yeah. chisel it out, don't they? Yeah, and then yeah. then fill that in. Fill it in. Yeah. Oh, that's wet. Well, we're getting more to the edge again, aren't we? Because we've gone through the middle. That's a nice piece. No defects there, apart from a bit of rot and... Yeah, but that, that's, that rot's going nowhere, is it? You know, fingers out. Yeah. And you know what they say? It's like a. That's a nice one as well. These different colours. It's awesome. And that's a nice. You know, that's a nice back. backboard. Yeah. If they wanted it to be a back. I mean, we can. That was spot on with the measurements. I think. Yeah. Exactly, sort of what we wanted. <laughs> 